Thank you for taking time to watch the Doctor Series presented by Saskatoon City Hospital Foundation. My name is Rosine Garabedian and I'm the site lead at the hospital as well as a volunteer board member for the foundation. As we gather here today, though virtually, we acknowledge that we are on Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis. We pay our respect to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place and we reaffirm our relationship with one another. For almost 40 years, Saskatoon City Hospital Foundation and Saskatoon City Hospital have worked together to ensure that health care delivered at the hospital is the best it can be. The foundation works closely with healthcare professionals to identify needs and then raises the money in the community to fund those needs. Every day I see the results of this wonderful partnership through the patients who leave the hospital in better health, ready to live a better quality of life. Thanks Rosine and thank you for joining us at the Doctor Series. I'm Steve Shannon, CEO of Saskatoon City Hospital Foundation. A frontline worker once said to me, give us the best and we'll do the rest. That statement is the spirit and heart behind Equip for Excellence. I'm excited now to announce the official launch of this $15 million campaign to ensure that those brave frontline workers have the best. The rest that they do is what they love so much, providing the best care possible for the best possible patient outcomes. Through this presentation, the Virtual Doctor Series, we want to give you a glimpse of what happens behind the scenes at the hospital. You'll hear from the frontline workers. You'll learn about their departments. And you'll see up close, as close as a patient would, what happens in parts of the patient journey. From diagnosis in locations such as endoscopy and medical imaging, to treatment in the operating room and the eye care center. And finally, to recovery in our surgery services department. You'll also hear how important equipment is as part of this journey how it affects staff confidence in their ability to do the job, and, most important, how it improves the care that patients deserve and receive. I hope you'll find the following information as fascinating as we do. Well, endoscopy is a multidisciplinary um, facility that we have with surgeons and gastroenterologists. Um, we work dealing with gastrointestinal care. Um, we do, we manage a lot of different diseases and endoscopy is a large part of, of that practice. You want to be up to date with the newest equipment. It's also important because it can deteriorate over time the equipment and it's, it, it needs to be updated uh, fairly regularly to be on par with uh, the rest of Canada. We want to provide the best care to patients that is available um, and that requires new technology. The uh, foundation has really helped a lot. Since I've been here for the last eight years, we've seen dramatic changes in what we're able to do here and how we're able to help patients. It's quite phenomenal actually. If you if you think back uh, over the years, the important role that the foundation's played in us bringing different equipment here, the list is quite, quite long, but uh, it, it's really made an impact for a lot of patients' lives. Right now, it, it is quite cumbersome to use the, the current equipment. This will allow more streamlined reporting, allow us to, as physicians, to report a lot easier on patients. You get more robust data collected. It does prompt you to provide the data in a, in a much more efficient manner for, for patients. We've met a lot of the donors over the years uh, through the foundation and had really good dialogue with them. They've been very important to helping the health region and providing that care that patients need. And I don't think we'd be able to do it without their wonderful support. When a patient goes to their physician with a health concern, often what happens is the physician will order imaging tests to help diagnose their issue. Many of these tests are done at City Hospital. A lot of people think that x-rays are chest x-rays or bone x-rays, but we're that, but we're also a lot more than that. We have MRI here, as well as ultrasound, CT, 
nuclear medicine, bone density, fluoroscopy, which is live x-ray. We use it for imaging body function, as well as the general x-ray. Saskatoon City Hospital is the only Saskatchewan Health Authority site in Saskatoon that does bone densitometry. We also have the Women's Breast Health Centre, so we do a lot of breast support imaging with MRI, ultrasound, and nuclear medicine. And as well, we do a very large volume of outpatients. We do outpatient surgeries here, as well as orthopedic clinics, rehab medicine, as well as the geriatric site is here. So we do a lot of imaging for those areas. Medical imaging is a very dynamic profession. We need to have good detail and definition on our images and upgrading the equipment allows us to have that up-to-date best practice equipment for us. Just like your television at home, the newer models give us better definition. That same idea exists with the imaging equipment. The newer the equipment, the better the image is, and it gives us the ability to serve our patients better. The new equipment gives the staff the assurity that they are providing the best imaging possible. We're able to serve our patients in a safe and timely manner. Please donate. Every dollar that is donated allows the Saskatoon City Hospital Foundation to improve the health care services for all the people of Saskatchewan. The Eye Care Centre at City Hospital is a unique centre delivering ophthalmology care across a wide range of subspecialties of ophthalmology. We do acute emergency care here. We have a glaucoma clinic that lives within the eye centre and we have pediatrics that practice solely out of the eye care centre. We are one of three orthoptist schools in the country and that is housed out of the eye centre and we train the only ophthalmology residents in the province. And because we are a tertiary care centre, we service um, often all of Saskatchewan through this eye care centre. Ophthalmology is very uh, specialised. We can't do our job without equipment. So even when we receive consults from other hospitals, we request that they be brought to us because of the specialty of the equipment that we use that we need to diagnose our patients. I do visual fields on every patient that I see in a glaucoma clinic and I follow them over time. So if you have advanced glaucoma, which means that slowly you're going blind on me, I repeat that test every time I see you and it tells me if we're losing um, and if we need to monitor or change your treatment. Our staff, they um, have you do the test with them and the older machines are slower than the newer machines. And sometimes they turn off unexpectedly or they don't communicate with each other. So newer machines will help our staff provide more effective tests and have the patients be less frustrated because they're quicker and I can better follow them because they communicate better through our technologies and the machines actually help me to know if somebody is getting worse. Eyes are so important and they help people function. It helps people keep their independence and this equipment is the only way we can do our jobs as well as we do. There usually is probably between five and ten people besides the patient on the day of surgery um, that look after all the patient's needs. When you think about it, the patient is at their most vulnerable when they come here. We only meet them for a few minutes prior to and a few minutes once they walk in, uh, after which they're anesthetized either under general anesthetic or regional or local. There has to be a cohesive way to work together in such a small space with all those people to make sure we provide the safest possible care for that patient, um, advocate for them, they can't speak for themselves when they're asleep, 
and just make sure that overall um, success of that procedure is at the highest level. We certainly try to maintain everything we have, but uh, over time everything wears out and so it needs replacing, it needs updating, it needs modernizing. The foundation has certainly provided so much for us, especially this year. I have been closely involved with all the purchases for this year uh, alone and I mean the, the donations that have been given to us are tremendously important. If we were a hotel, we'd get zero reviews on TripAdvisor and nobody would ever come back. And this is what we wish for people is to never have to come back or have to come in the first place. But if they do, knowing that we have modern equipment, reliable equipment, great staff expertise to take care of the person at our, uh, you know, in our hands is the most important thing. So if you're considering donating, that's wonderful. I hope you never have to see the use on yourself. <laughs> but if and when you do, we'll be here and we'll take care of you. Patients come in for all types of surgeries. We have a combination of over a hundred different types of surgeries that we perform here. I manage surgical services, which is a combination of four units, 4300, 3600, pack and recovery. And we work together in order to ensure that people have a safe surgical journey. Our typical patient that we would see come through um, any of our units would be anybody over usually the age of 12 until anyone in their senior years. During some of the procedures that we do in 3600, we need to use cardiac monitors and we need to use ultrasounds in order to do our regional anesthetics, which is the freezing for our patients. And we are in dire need of these vital pieces of equipment in order to continue to increase the amount of regional anesthetics that we can provide. Currently we have in operation three ultrasounds. Uh, we did have four, one of them has broken, and they are at the end of life. Ultrasounds are used by the anesthesiologists in order to view where the needle has to go for the insertion of the regional anesthetic. Cardiac monitors are very important in monitoring patient status during surgery, um, pre-op, post-op. They are also at the end of life, so we are in need of these vital pieces of equipment in order to continue with our regional anesthetics. Some of the rewarding aspects of my career is knowing that we've improved the quality of someone's life by getting them through their surgical journey successfully. I think it's really important for donors or people who are thinking about donating to know is that your, your money stays in your community. It actually helps your neighbors, your friends, your family, and potentially could help you. When we receive new equipment, it's like Christmas for the staff. Um, they know that they can give better care. It increases the quality of care that we can provide and safer care for the patients. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed that. I should say that with usually 200,000 procedures performed, this is only a small fraction of what actually happens at Saskatoon City Hospital almost every working day of the year. Those numbers temporarily decreased during COVID, and staff is now valiantly dealing with the backlog of procedures, which is why it's so important that you ensure the hospital has the best, the latest, and the safest equipment, technology, and resources. You can do that right now by making a donation at schfgo.com. That's schfgo.com. You can also donate by calling 306-655-8489. Or you can stop by and see us at the hospital. We're located right beside the main entrance of Saskatoon City Hospital. Thank you for joining us. And once again, you can donate at schfgo.com.